What's up guys, welcome to another video. This will be fourth video in the video series getting shredded. We have less than three months left in the grind and uh, I've been losing weight slowly but surely and everything's going good. Today in this video I will showcase, I will show you guys what type of foods I eat to lose the weight and retain my muscle mass as much as possible. Obviously I will lose a little bit of muscle I think because 10% body fat or less that is low and I've never been that low so I'm not exactly sure how I will finish this challenge but we'll see about that let's make the breakfast or so to speak I actually don't break the fast in the morning if I'm cutting at the moment all I'm gonna do is drink black coffee here and um, that will start my day for now and uh, after that I will showcase all other meals, the macros, proteins, carbs, fats and so on. So hopefully you enjoy this video guys. Alright so while my coffee is still preparing we have the coffee here. We, we, I am also drinking usually something a little bit of water in the morning and I add a calcium and D3 tablet so basically I add this one tablet and just throw it in there here we have the supplements I usually have two fish oils omega-3 so two soft gels of these and then I have two soft gels of vitamin D I had deficiency in it and uh, I do drink vitamin D on daily here and I try to keep the dose pretty decent so now it's in my optimal range which is very good but I definitely was deficient before so it's very important to check your blood work if you have all your vitamins on point it is very important for your performance for your recovery for health everything then we have vitamin E I also recommend using it and then we just have multivitamin complex it's just bunch of vitamins and minerals things like zinc, uh, iron um, thrown in there and it's not in very high dosage but everything is covered around so if you have missed anything with veggies with your diet then you can try to get it from this and uh, yeah this is that I um, the thing that I usually take in the morning with the drink so I will drink this and then my coffee all right guys so let me show you what I did today in the workout today I had a push day we were doing chest triceps and shoulders and uh, in push days one of the things that I really like to work on and improve is the handstands the handstand push-ups especially I really want to do more reps and uh, do more clean reps and uh, I think that is one of my main focuses on the push days for now so the first obviously we do some warm-up getting some blood flow into the shoulders because they are very fragile and as I had been previously injured uh, I am definitely taking care of my shoulders and in winter especially when it's cold it's definitely very important that you get a little bit movement before you can actually even do a little bit of running I think to get the uh, body warmed up but this time I did some did some stretches and uh, tried to move a little bit my arms and get my shoulders ready for the workout and then I did one set of handstand hold <clears throat> just to have that blood flow into the shoulders and get ready for the actual workout so after this I started out also with the handstand push-ups and uh, I did three sets of these and uh, I'm trying to kind of replicate the handstand push-up when you don't use any wall or any assistance and as you can see I think I'm doing quite well I'm using power leads and I'm still hitting full depth 
my head is actually hitting the ground which means that my reps are quite deep and I'm really satisfied with that and they also went quite well quite well I'm still 220 pounds but I'm dropping weight right now and I can for sure tell you that the dif difference uh, the couple kilograms that I already lost you can feel that so much so I think when my cut is going uh, more deep when I'm gonna lose a couple more kilograms I know it will take some time and take some discipline it will take some hard work because it is difficult but when I do that the difference and uh, the repetition should increase and the different uh, difference in feel when I do them should be massive I think I would if I would be at least five kilograms less in my weight which is 11 pounds if I lost that on top of this I think I would rub them out clean as hell I mean it's just a matter of losing a little bit extra body fat and uh, just getting a little bit stronger as well obviously and then I would do them very good very clean and uh, yeah the first set was very clean very good high reps for me and obviously at uh, the last set I was already quite exhausted but I still am satisfied with the results and I definitely feel like at least I can wrap out these comfortably because uh, last year at this month at time January February I didn't even was able to do these because my injury was still present and um, after <coughs> the handstand push-ups I did handstand hold one minute which is quite long if you consider that I already did three sets of handstand push-ups and I can still hold myself for one minute so I think if I would try this with fresh strength, uh, I would be maybe even able to do handstand hold for two minutes, which is quite good, quite good for my leg, I think. So yeah, I did this for one minute, and then I moved on to the dips on the rings. This is one of my all-time favorite exercises for chest and triceps, but I think it focuses a lot more on chest than triceps, because at least for me, I usually feel a lot more sore and more pump in the chest than triceps, but it's not that important which muscle it focuses more, because I just enjoy the exercise and doing them on the rings definitely is good, because it activates the stabilizer muscles and I'm starting to get a little bit feel for uh, turning the rings outwards at the end of the rep I'm starting uh, getting more used to the rings because it it, it, it does take a lot of uh, stabiliz stabilization muscles if you know what I mean so it's definitely nice to see that I'm actually improving because I did use weight west here and obviously that makes the exercise a lot more harder and uh, I think I'm doing them very well uh, because I remember when I started out even you can check out the shredding series the video the second video I did, I checked it out and I saw that my form was a lot more bad, worse than right now. So I improved a lot and I'm really happy with that. I got very good depth, always hitting 90 degrees or even uh, more and that is very good. I never go too shallow and I don't go like exaggerated deep, you know, so that's great. And yeah, so did a lot of four sets, which is quite a lot, but definitely felt good. And after that I did dips, and lately I can say the dips are feeling excellent as well. Did four sets with the weighted vest as well. Usually, uh, sometimes, not maybe all the time, but I definitely sometimes feel the pain in my elbow from regular dips. But now I don't feel it as much, so maybe the ring dips... Uh, it's helping, I'm not sure, but it's definitely nice that you don't feel that elbow pain. After that I did incline push-ups on rings with West, three sets, and someone asked me do I do decline push-ups on rings, but there isn't really a place to do it. I don't have a box where I can uh, stand on to do them, but I can do them incline and I uh, still feel great pump and it activates a lot of core as well as I noticed so I really love this exercise and if you do it with weighted vest it's very challenging as you can see I'm struggling it's already coming close to my end of the, my workout and I was pretty exhausted I'm going very deep range of motion and it is difficult 
After that we're doing some side lateral raises, three sets of these, just to hit all areas of shoulder. You get a lot of front shoulder activation in handstand push-ups, in dips and so on. And then you're getting the side delt hit it here and the last exercise that I did hit rear delt so you hit all three your areas of your shoulder that is very important for balance and to avoid injury and uh, I would recommend for everyone to focus a lot on your rear delts because not a lot of exercises actually activate it so it's extremely important to focus on rear delt and this is the last exercise for this workout rows with rings focused on rear delts you may think this looks easy and so on but this is done with the purpose just to hit the rear delt and you have to remind yourself that this is end of the workout so you don't have that much strength left and it is completely fine and yeah i made a little adjustment here and there <laughs> but nothing serious so yeah guys thanks for watching the workout and let's move on to the diet part alright guys so finished up my workout and now we're going for a run we're gonna do some cardio so let's go So this will be the last meal of the day today was very busy I don't have much time to eat a lot of meals so I'm gonna squeeze the last calories and proteins in in this meal so we're gonna have a protein pancake mix lately I've been eating a lot of protein pancakes they taste good they have high protein very good macros two scoops have 160 calories and 31 gram of protein five grams of carbs and basically no fat at all so they're very good and just to have enough calories for the day we're gonna add some protein spread it tastes amazing and has decent amount of protein it's good food yeah, if you want something sweet but don't want to go for junk food and then we're gonna add some peanut butter um, just to have that extra calories so we have enough for today one more thing that you might notice is that I don't use any oil and that is because the protein pancake doesn't burn so I just don't use it because oils have a lot of calories and when you're cutting you need to be very cautious of that obviously you can still use oil uh, they are really good fats especially olive oil and so on but not for me and not today at least As you can see the pan is very clean and that's what I love about protein pancakes that they don't need oil and you can make them without it and they are just fine so here are the macros on the screen with the peanut butter and the protein spread and I will show the total macros for the day as well all right guys so another video done another day is done good day did training did cardio meals on point everything is going great i feel already a little bit leaner starting to get the wings and everything is going great i'm not sure what my body body fat is right now but it's definitely lower because my weight has been dropping but i don't update you guys too much on my weight because it is influenced by your water retention it's 
how, how much water do you drink per day, how much activity do you have, how was your sleep, etc. It's um, a lot more complicated. What you have to follow is your, let's say your waist, uh, how big is your waist, how big is your arms, uh, how do you look. It's a lot more important the look and your circumstances like how big are you in like waist and so on then rather uh, what the scales show you hopefully you understand what I said and um, that is that and um, let me know in the comment section down below which would you like to see in next video maybe uh, you want to see a uh, pull day I haven't really done that maybe you want to see leg day or you want to see uh, maybe uh, like a, a cheat meal or a bigger like eating day than this because this was very low calorie because I did run today and for that it's pretty low calorie but I am cutting and while I'm feeling fine I feel energized I don't see any problem with it but if I would feel low on or low on energy or, or something then I would definitely add my calories a little bit higher so it really depends on the individual, how you're feeling and so on. But right now everything's going great and that's why I think the calories are okay and everything is going good. So that's about it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel where I will be soon starting to post streams. Also maybe some videos because my microphone is arriving tomorrow and I can finally do the streams. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I see you guys in the next one.